Hey guys, welcome to Wide Family Farm. Today I am picking some lettuce for lunch and I'm actually just going through the garden. It is starting to dwindle down um, because of the cooler weather that we're having at night. But since we are getting cooler weather, the lettuce and the cabbage are just getting so wonderful and so beautiful. I thought I would show you um, what I have going on. Typically, I don't do um, lettuce or cabbage in the fall. Um, it rained the other night, so it's one of my cabbage or lettuces are like completely knocked over. Um, but usually, I don't do cabbage or lettuce in the fall. I have never done cabbage or lettuce in the fall. It's usually like a springtime thing. Um, so I decided to do that, and I think I will do it from now on. It's just been wonderful. Um, I have like an endless supply of lettuce right now, which is really great. If you don't plant anything for the fall, I highly suggest doing it. Um, and you get less bugs and stuff, which seems to be the case. And in fact, I'm going to start looking at a lot of 50 day varieties um, and seeing if like maybe at the end of August, I can start growing cucumbers and stuff. Um, before the uh, the cool weather next year or, um, and see how that works out. Um, like I said, it seems like we do have a lot less bugs. However, I did see a lot of worms on my cabbage and I saw one the other day. Wasn't too happy with that. So I have um, something I need to spray on them. I've also been seeing <clears throat> this white butterfly, which I think that is the cause of um the worms and 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 stuff like that and i'll show you a picture of what it looks like real quick this thing right here i don't know if it's a moth or a butterfly but i think it's a moth and i think that is one of the things that goes after cabbage so that is also something you have to look out for but you can see in some of my cabbages here um you can see holes and stuff in them some of them don't have holes in them at all i pulled a leaf over here and it had a worm on it so I just you need to look out for that um, but it's actually doing good for being grown organically there's absolutely nothing on this cabbage whatsoever I can't wait till they start forming heads um, one thing I'm not very successful at and I will straight up tell people I'm one not very good at growing onions I personally love onions and I've been trying to get good at growing them, but I'm just not. Um, but another thing I am not really good at growing is cauliflower and broccoli. And um, we did plant purple cauliflower this year, um, but it's not really doing anything. Um, and it is also getting eaten up by uh, pro uh, probably worms. Um, so I'm going to flip this camera around and show you that. This is um, my purple um, cabbage or cauliflower. I'm sorry, purple cauliflower. And you can see that it's getting eaten up. I really don't know what that is. You don't see anything. So that's the thing. So I have some stuff I'm going to spray on this. It's going to be 100% organic. So I'm going to spray some stuff on this. This is actually my largest one right here in the center. And it looks like it's doing good, so I definitely want to spray that down as well. This is what's left over. This is what the garden looks like in the fall. And look at all of our tomatoes. I mean, this is just out of control. Um, completely out of control. Um, I got raspberry bushes that I need to pull back and trim back. Um, it was really cool this year. We got some of my um, fall gold, gold um, raspberries. And we, I don't know if you know the story, but we planted these two years ago when we moved in. I said, well, we better hurry up and plant something if we want it to grow, you know, and, and enjoy its fruits. So um, we planted them and we thought we killed them all. And here we did not kill them all. We have beautiful fall gold um, raspberries over here and let me show you real quick there's thorns right. now that is just absolutely gorgeous 
I've never had these before. I've never even heard of them. I bought them at Tractor Supply. Here's some over here, like kind of lingering. I bought them at Tractor Supply. I never had them before. And honestly, it's something I think I am going to 100% grow, try and get more of because these raspberries are good. I got a bee right there. Hopefully it doesn't sting me. But look at that. If you want a berry that grows in the fall, I highly suggest getting these. And this is only two years old. So I can just imagine what it's gonna do in the next couple years if we treat it right. You know what I mean? It's just gonna have beautiful berries on it. This year was a really excellent berry season anyway. Um, we got a ton of different types of berries this year. Oh my God, that is so good. It tricks you. Mm. It tricks you and plays with your mind a little bit because it's not your typical raspberry, it's gold. So it's like, you think it's gonna taste what the color's like, but it's, it's so weird. It's really weird, but it's really good. Um, but yeah, that's what we got going on in the fall garden. Um, I'm going to eventually clean all this out. We're going to probably lay some mulch in here to kill some of these weeds and stuff because we got a lot of that going on. You can kind of see. I've weed whacked through here. We got chickweed growing everywhere. And my peppers, they're finally growing and getting big, but we're dwindling down here. So it's not, I don't know. Some of them are so small, I can't do anything with them. Um, we've already cleared out a lot of this. This was like tons and tons of ground cherries and we swept most of this up. This was where the habanadas were. And we're just getting things cleaned up for winter. I'm going to do like a couple of winter experiments and stuff um, and um, have lettuce growing in my greenhouse this winter to see how cold it gets in there um, and see if it'll survive. And if it does survive, that'll be really great because then I will have lettuce all winter long. These are my winter uh, loofah gourds and I have yet to get them to dry out. They're starting to now, but I have a feeling that they're not gonna get completely dried out until um, before the frost because it's just, there's so many. Um, and they're still really hard. They're really hard actually. This one is not even, yeah, super hard. So I don't know. It, the plant in itself is starting to die back a little bit and starting to get like dried up. And I haven't been watering it um, because I want it to dry. I want it to get dried up. Um, I have so many loofah gourds on here, it's ridiculous. And I don't know if I'm going to get to the point where it's going to be dried completely. So I may have to pre-harvest them and just like set them in a room and just, or in the garage or something and just let them dry out. Oh, this is so cute. You can see Gerald over there. He's like sitting on the Amish buggy. One of my favorite roosters. He is so cool. But we plan on getting a rabbit. We already have it set up. I'm going to actually paint this because it's really super ugly and you can see it directly from my kitchen window. So I'm going to paint that, but we're gonna put a rabbit in there and the rabbit poo that we get, we're gonna put it in a bucket, buckets underneath and it'll be directly put into this garden. So our garden's gonna be 100% like kind of self-sufficient, I guess you would say, as far as that's concerned. This is a volunteer King Tut pea. Unfortunately, I don't have any buds or anything on it, and I don't know if it'll make it before the frost. I know they like cooler weather, but um, it's kind of funny that it just volunteered itself. I also, also have like a volunteer um, carrot in the middle of my cabbage, and I was uh, determining whether or not I either wanted to pick it, or if I didn't want to pick it, if I was gonna leave it for next year to let it um, grow seeds. Was trying to determine that. 
this is all my lettuce. This is amazing. I'm still impressed. Like, this is Paris Island. This is Red Romaine. This is Merlot lettuce. And this is my first time growing Merlot lettuce. And I tell you what, man, it is awesome. If you like a crispier lettuce, that is 100% crispier. My husband's mowing the lawn over there. Um, and then um, I have like some cheap dollar store lettuce here and I have that sanguine which I really like um, lettuce in here and it looks as if I need to pull some of it back because I don't want it to get drowned out with the other um, lettuces because that's a really good one and then this is rocky top which you can't get right now um, you cannot get rocky top at all at Baker Creek and I really love this variety it's a it's like mixed varieties all in one um, but I like it and it has a really good flavor. But yeah, that's a, a rhubarb that I grew from seed and um, next year it will be a two year. I don't know if I'll pick it next year. It all depends on how big it's gonna get. And I did put it in my herb garden and the only reason why I did that is because I was sick of seeing it in the pot. It was sitting in a pot and I didn't want to kill it because it was healthy. So that's looking pretty good. And I think I'm going to just end up leaving it there. Um, my dragon tongue beans, that's another thing I don't typically, I don't typically grow in the fall, but my dragon tongue beans, I'm totally going to um, plant in spring, um, summer and fall. They are a 50 day variety and they are awesome. They taste amazing and they're really good raw on a salad. So I'll show you these. These are the dragon tongue beans. I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna pick them because we're gonna have salads for lunch. But look at that. And they're all over the place and they're wonderful. And I'm gonna grow enough. I'm gonna see about pickling them and stuff like that. And, and I don't know if they've just really, really liked the cool weather, but they're doing fantastic. And they hardly have any bug bites, anything like that on them. This is great. And that's part of my loofah. And look at all these tomatoes that have dropped. We just stopped picking them. We have so many, it's just ridiculous. And our freezers are all filled. These were the Amish paints, and if you want a tomato that is prolific, that's this, Amish paste. Totally suggest getting it if you can find it, because it's amazing. All right, guys, this is one of my loofah gourds that is starting to, like, dry up a little bit. You can see it. I'm kind of excited about picking that. Um, I was not expecting to have any loofah gourds this year, none whatsoever. And then I've got like at least 20 or 30 on here. It's um, amazing. And I have two plants of it, um, only two, and it's completely taken over the garden. Some people have like five and they have it in a separate garden all to themselves because it does take over everything. All right. Well, tonight I'm having a seed swap, so if you are interested, um, meet at me tonight at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. Um, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time is tonight. It's a seed swap. It is free. Um, you don't have to pay to join or anything like that. I've seen a lot of people who are like, you have to pay to join. I don't want to do that. You just have to donate one packet of seeds and that's it and you need to swap with somebody else and i'm actually going to do a wheel i'm going to put everybody's name in the wheel and then i'm going to mesh you up with somebody and then you can do the dealing um through email and um give each other each other's addresses um i'm hoping that this works out um i've, n I've been looking online i've never really seen a successful seed swap online specifically it's all been like buy it through mail and stuff like that 
but I figured this community is really strong and we have a lot of trustworthy homesteaders, um, I feel. So I figured we could do a seed swap successfully and actually trust that a person is going to send the seeds that they said they're gonna send. And if not, like, if you don't, if you are gonna send seeds, you can send more if you want to. I mean, it's, um, you know, something that's gonna be fun for all of us. So if you wanna send more, you can, but the, um, quantity is only one and um if you want to volunteer to do this you can and it'll be fun so i'll see you tonight at 9 30 eastern standard time and have a good day guys